All right, hello viewers and welcome to turn number 31, I believe, inside the uh, the multiplayer collaborative. Um, anyhow, it is turn, or rather, fall in the year three of the Ascension Wars, and well, a few different uh, things have happened here. So, um, we started off receiving a helmet from Van Helm, so we've received the air helmet from Das, and that'll be useful inside the future. We completed some research, and a whole bunch of battles here went on. Um, notably that Van Helm has moved up, Abyssia is starting to become um, contained, and some independents were conquered from the looks of it. The main thing is that uh, we actually fought two pretty impressive battles, um, both of which resulted in the destruction of a fair amount of Abyssians, um, but most of these Abyssian troops were auxiliary troops that weren't actually Abyssian infantrymen, so there might be uh, a few issues with that, but apart from that, um, this area is starting to stabilize. Um, so let's focus on a few things here. We managed to get this um, little winged helm which increases air magic level by one. We'll just really keep that on the side here for now. Um, with our research, with only with two uh, levels on alteration, I feel like this is going to be um, enough simply because we can, we can now use uh, some of the defensive caster spells for ourselves. Um, I, I had hoped that we would be able to go for Encase in Ice, or something like that, but, um, you know what, I feel like it's better to just go back into the Evocation Tree and nab a few of those spells. Um, so, as soon as we, um, as soon as we find a level 3 Water Mage, uh, we can equip him with the Helmet, and then we should be able to do this Freezing Mist spell, which will be able to keep the enemy back from the furthermost part, but when we get to level 5, um, one of the more deadlier skills um, that I found by experience was this Falling uh, Frost, one which um, which is able to hit 15 units at once, and it does uh, 17 damage, so I mean that's magical damage, so I mean that's, that's pretty good. Um, so we'll keep researching into that, and um, oh yeah, so these Abyssians, they should have a uh, weakness to Frost, uh, meaning that that cold attack will do extra damage there. Um, in the meantime, what I think I'll do is that I'll get our mages here to really just research, actually scratch that. I'll get one of our mages to research here, I'll bring our guy back, and I'll get Rolf over here. Ralph is going to go with the army, so I'm going to give him a whole bunch of gems, and I'm going to send him along his way. Um, I want to close off this mountain pass. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to close off this mountain pass area, and the only way that I'm going to do that is if I get rid of all of this uh, negative dominion, so the black candles over here. And what I want to do is that I want to start building a few labs, or rather uh, temples, not labs, but temples, which will do that for me. And the, my problem with that is that I will, I will require quite a lot of some extra uh, goodies to do that. I require some more funds. Um, so with that said, we are uh, we're going to have to shift our priorities here by a little bit. Um, our province here doesn't provide a lot of resources, so I think, um, yeah, I guess I'll have to switch to producing these Jotun Militia people, simply because they're just so much cheaper than the Grim Herding. Um, so I guess we'll, we'll switch up our lines like that, we'll produce militiamen for now, and currently, uh, we can hire Master Assassin, Beast Brother, the Master Druid, none of these mercenaries are particularly good, but, um... Yeah, there's really not much I can do here, except for do some unit movements and take out the enemies over here. Oh yes, and that's right, we forgot to check out the battles that we fought, so let's do that right now. Um, we fought a pretty big battle over here at the Smoter Cone. Um, using our little line set up again, we're going to push upon some Abyssian garrison men, mainly just, like, independent barbarians and stuff like that. Do we already have one guy routing? Yeah, you'll see there that we gain uh, some blessings being uh, put down onto the battlefield. Oh, and those archers are actually really close to the front lines, just pummeling these guys. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, this one, I felt like this battle was a fairly easy victory for us, simply because we didn't fight any of their heavier infantrymen. 
These barbarians have a protection of 7, hit points at 12, so I presume that yet our, uh, yeah, our axes will destroy them upon the first hit, really. So, as soon as their line bails, um, that is the end of that army. Hmm. And we fought another battle over here at Golem Range, and this battle was actually against Abyssians, however, they only had a few of these guys around. Um, this battle I felt like it was, it was quite interesting. We had this, um, this, uh, Salamander Priest here, which was, a uh, Fire Mage, actually, so he's able to drop some things onto the map. Also have some, uh, Abyssian Infantry doing their flame thing, and in the back they have this thing, a Spine Devil, which is apparently a, um, a demonic figure. Um, this guy has poison barbs, so we can't hit him without doing, uh, I think we already checked one of these guys out, but yeah, they're, they're poisonous beings, and I mean, um, they have decent stats, only that they, they take out, they have the Scorched Earth policy, where, um, if you do get hit by him, or you hit him, you do get that poisonous modifier, so I presume that one or two of our guys will be lost poison, just due to that spine demon. Yeah, so this is, oh, oh. Oh, that's right, we do have these drog, uh, drogs into the battlefield, too. I'm liking this battle a lot more. I mean, you can see the, uh, the Abyssians just running right now. That, uh, that fire mage over there has a lot of gems. So, as you can see, it's so many of these fire elementals. These things are, yeah, yeah, they're they're just essentially puffs of flame. They can do one attack, and they they're fairly weak. Although it, it takes a good two or three rounds to kill them, is what I find, uh, simply because they just constantly shrink down to a const uh, to a smaller size. Um, I, now I don't really know if that's just a graphical representation of its it points, or uh, whether or not it transforms into something else. But yeah, it takes a long time to kill them. You guys are just swarming them. They make really good like like scapegoat units simply because it, like you'll see here all of our guys are tied up on that one unit and this guy can run away but on the other hand you do need to focus that uh that fire elemental simply because it also does a lot of damage all right so that's about that we're starting to clear out these areas which is nice um here's what i think i'll do i'll, la I'll leave volsung back at base and i'll get these guys to actually join our little reinforcements crew yeah. And instead of, um, instead of Sigmund joining the fight right away, I'll just get Rolf to move up and give these guys, uh, fire support. Um, and after a little bit, I'll, I'll send up a reinforcement wave as soon as we have some more, uh, militia to send up there. <laughs> we still have a spy over here. Still checking out the enemies' is, is, uh, back lines, but as you can see, we're starting to see a lot more, um, troops on the field along this line. The Abyssians have this line fortified and right now I'm thinking about uh, what we need to do with our gems and what we need to do with our um, with some of our yeah some of our miscellaneous gems here. So we're gonna go into a conjuration. Let's see what we can summon here. Um, let's see. This power of spears thing is pretty useful. Light of the Northern Star Waken Draugr, Blood of Gorm, summons a pa- oh, right, that's right, we've checked out that spell before. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't see anything that can be uh, particularly useful right now, so I think we'll wait on, on the magic and we'll just end our turn here. So I'll see you guys next time.